serious pass to have come to. And the issue that I'm trying to... I, I thank the Honourable Gentleman for giving way. I think making a very interesting and important point about um, foreign takeovers, and particularly, of course, hostile foreign takeovers. One of the most important ones recently was the attempt by Pfizer to take over uh, AstraZeneca, and I'm sure the Honourable Gentleman would, would agree that that case concluded in absolutely the right way in terms of protect, protecting one of the great British assets and enabling it to continue its long-term strategies of investment in innovation and technology. Would, we, would, the honourable, would the Honourable Gentleman agree that this should be seen as a case for perhaps a reform of the Companies Act so that we see far more long-termism being built into the UK's corporate culture so that we do move to investing in, in innovation, in R&D and in skills because if we don't do that we will never change to a more sustainable business model. I could not agree more with my honourable friend. I think the, 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 that uh, one of the things, one of the, one of the issues that has led to the short termism uh, uh, over the last 20, 30 years is precisely the fact that companies are not in a position to think long term themselves because the way the City of London runs, the way the casino economy works, is that their shares are always in play. Uh, and we need some form of company reform that allows, allows investment to take place without it being subject to, uh, to shares being shorted uh, or issues such as I just mentioned with Rolls-Royce and other companies uh, of, of, of share buyback activity taking place where the money should have gone into real investment.